What's going on everybody? It's Lotter Drendel here coming at you with a Warframe video. Today we are going over the Glaive Prime. This weapon was for consoles was just recently buffed with the Chains of Harrow when the with the uh, addition to dual wielding. I don't know why, but the glaive just all of a sudden just stopped, decided to quit showing, but that's okay. But here we are. So let's go over the statistics. But feel free to pause this video as I go through the stats. I'm just going to cycle through because this is a lot to cover. As you can see, the uh, the there is punch through with charge throw, and that this has innate blast with the throws, which is which blast does knock, which seems has a bit of knockback, which is pretty intriguing. So, why don't we go through the builds that we have on this? As you can see. I've made this into a status build and it's also very quick if you want to make this into a crit you could but personally I do I like the status I could make a crit build if I if you if you know at some point as well and we could always test it but for this video we are going to have in demonstration we are going to be going to do status procs so for this one we have Voltaic Strike and Virulent Scourge with the combination of Fever Strike and Shocking Touch. We have those to be our Corrosive. Then we have Spoiled Strike, Primed Fury, Molten Impact, and Prime Pressure Point. For our stance we use Astral Twilight. Now if you have Gleaming Talon you could use that, you could use that instead. I have a preference towards Astral Twilight. So, for if you go against the corpus, you just change. You could do, you could kind of, you could do um, a bit of a uh, different here. You could do viral, or you could do magnetic. Now, viral is something that I've started you kind of using against multiple multiple factions, which is cold and poison. Which, as you see, I have it right here. And I started and I use heat. Now, a lot of people be like, why do you do that? That's kind of a bad thing. Well, and I could kind of see some people's arguments. Viral toxin does go through shields. Now, if you prefer, if you do prefer going without it, and you'd rather just, and you just want to go straight for magnetic, just change the molten impact here to shocking touch and swap places and then there you go it's for me I just I have a preference but again you can do as you wish now for if we go up against the Grenier we got our voltaic strike volcanic edge as you see we have it set for the radiation we also got our Shocking Touch Molten Impact right here. And we have North Wind. Though, we could also, if you want to take out their health a little faster, you could also choose to do Toxin. Again, it kind of becomes a whatever strikes your fancy. We have Spoiled Strike, Prime Fury, pr Pressure Point. So, as you can see, the Prime Pressure Point, Prime Fury, Spoiled Strike are the mainstays, along with Shocking... Well, as you can see, the Elementals change. But you have the mainstays of Spoiled Strike, Prime Fury, Prime Pressure Point. So, let's ignore how this guy's looking right now. And let's take this into a mission. To test it we got radiation so we're gonna go up against some um, we're gonna go against the grenier and we're just gonna do a standard 
We'll do a stand. We'll just go up against in a standard uh, extermination if we can, f if we find one. Actually, better yet, let's just go up against the. Let's do survival. And we're gonna make this solo because I wanna just it be just me. Let's do a demonstration of movements while we're doing this. And when you know, I got swordsman as my. As you guys can see, this even with the spoiled strike, this with the help of Prime Fury, this weapon swings very, very fast. There's the throw. There we go. That was not intended. <laughs> but as you guys can see, so yeah, for radiate radiation against Grenier has always been viewed as the best to go. All right, now that you've seen it in the regular. Let's go into duel. As you can see, when you're in dual wielding stance, you actually got the, the charge throw. A little bit different compared to the regular. Kind of find it sad that we don't get that we don't seem to have access to the charge throw. Seem to doesn't mean we don't. I could be wrong. You guys could correct me in the comments if I am wrong. But as you can see. When it comes to dual, the dual wielding, we we have the charge, the charging throw, while with the 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 um, regular, when you go into just the melee itself, there it doesn't seem to be a charge throw at all. Kind of makes me sad, considering that I do sometimes like to go in just the melee itself, but considering that there is the dual wield. Some people will be like, well, you'd never go into dual wield anyway. Or go outside of dual wield. Pardon. And some people might be right about that. But there are some people that would like that will go into the Astral Twilight and Gleaming Talons movesets. Now, whether they choose to do that or not now, well, that becomes a debate between you and me. So, that takes care of the demonstration for the Glaive Prime. For those of you that enjoyed this, feel free to hit the like button if you found it to be very informative. Feel free to comment. Feel free to share this video if you guys found it useful. Feel free to subscribe to the channel for more. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace out, everyone.